That's not what you just showed in all no, fairness no, no. and I'm respect you, to that you. That's the question that we asked him. Uh, you didn't show that, and here's the bottom line. He has repeated it many times, and you and I both know that. And you and I both know that he has talked about turning the American military on the American people. He has talked about going after people who are engaged in peaceful protest. He has talked about locking people up because they disagree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, the President of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. And this is what is at stake, which is why you have someone like the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff saying what Mark Milley has said about Donald Trump being a threat to the United States of America. He's quoted in the Bob Woodward book that way, yes. L let me ask you this, no, Madam no, Vice President. You call let's not Donald Trump. The you you, you of that. call Donald Trump. Um, he's misguided. You say now he's he is unstable. unstable. He is unstable, but uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. You situation room, and he has the judgment and the that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experience to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe were Biden, no concerns Brett, raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald Trump, Donald Trump but is. But you talked about it. And Donald Trump after is. After George Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to President Donald Biden Trump, at a fundraiser that he thought Brett, this was not the Brett, same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Donald Trump is on the ballot. I understand. You met with him at least once a week for three and a half years. You didn't have any concerns? I think the American people have a concern about Donald Trump, which is why the people who know him best including leaders of our national security community, have all spoken out, even people who worked for him in the Oval Office, worked with him in the Situation Room, and have said he is unfit and dangerous. I mean, so you saw that there, folks. You saw. I mean, her demeanor, look at her face right now. Look at this. She was combative. She was elusive. She was condescending. She was arrogant. He's asking her the question, can you give us, but Madam President, but Madam President, wait, you gotta let me explain. You gotta, you know what I'm talking about. You're not letting me answer the question. You gotta let me inside there. And then, I mean, it was an unmitigated disaster, folks, right from the very beginning. And we just have to go back to that very beginning here and just see this thing all over again. There's so much here, so much. Look at this. Look at the defensive pose that she's in. I mean, this is just whoever, I mean, I know, listen, they've got to pull out all the stops. If she thought that they were going to reach those I don't even know, whatever you want to call them, those Nikki Haley Republicans, those Democratic-leading Republicans, those Democratic-leading independents, after just these two clips, you think that she's persuaded them over to her side? I've got news for you folks. It's not happening. But I just want to give a couple of reactions to this thing here. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible, incredible, uh, just narcissism on her part that ran around circles on his staff when did you first notice that president biden's mental faculties appeared diminished <laughs> look at her face here and this is in response folks to the question that we were talking about that you're calling donald trump unhinged you're calling donald trump unstable you're calling donald trump hasn't put his medical records out there that he's diminished capacity and then you're saying all these hundreds of people that work with him and the generals and his chief of staff and, and you know um 
Oh, Liz Cheney and Dick Cheney. I'm palling around with those neocons, and they're saying the same thing, that Donald Trump is unstable. And I'm giving you my expert testimony, my expert medical testimony, that Donald Trump is unstable, unhinged, mentally incapacitated. Well, if you're such a great judge of someone being incapacitated and losing their marbles, and is, you know, mentally unstable. Well, then let us know. When did you figure that out about good old Joe? That's what we'd like to know. And this is the this is her face right here. She's trying to think, how do I squirm out of this one? I can't. Let's listen to the answer once again. Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experienced to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe were Biden, no Brett, concerns raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. I understand. And but, Donald, no shit, Donald Sherlock. Trump but you is, talked about it. And Donald Trump after George is, Clooney said within a few minutes of talking to President Donald Biden Trump, at a fundraiser that he thought this Brett, was not the Brett, same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Trump. Brett, 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 that, that, that's her like, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Vice President, when she did that to Michael Pence, remember that in the debate? I, I, you know, let me talk, let me talk. Brett had to get in there. I give Brett a lot, a lot, a lot of credit. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did he go after her? And he just, I mean, he asked a question that we were all wanting to be asked. She just couldn't answer them. She just couldn't answer them. George Clooney says, I just met him within two seconds. And George Clooney is an actor. He might play a psychiatrist or a psychologist in a movie. He said, I knew right away Joe Biden wasn't the same Joe Biden from two, three years ago. Madam Vice President, why can't you just tell us? Right? That's a question that needs to be answered. When did you know? Why didn't you tell us? Why were you hiding it? That would be my follow-up question. You hid this from the American public. And if you're saying that he's still good, that there's nothing wrong with him, then let me ask you something. Why are you sitting here answering questions instead of the president being here running his campaign for his second term? That would have been my follow-up question. If everything is still hunky-dory, which she's intimating by her answer, right? That's what she's saying. Come on. Trump is on the ballot. I understand. She's going back to Trump. At least once a week for three and a half years. Look at her. Look, look. Any concerns? Look at that. Look at that face. Look at that face. Go back a little bit. See this face again, folks. There it is. There's that face. That's the face that we're talking about right there. That's the face that we're talking about. Absolutely. You Look at that. Any concerns? I think the American people have a concern about Donald Trump, which is why the people who... Back know to Donald us, Trump again. Including leaders of our national security... They're oh, leaders. ...community have all spoken out, even people who worked for him in the Oval Office... Same old shit. ...worked with him in the Situation Room and have said he is unfit... Same old, same old. Back to the unfit. I mean... It was, it was tough. There's more pieces, uh, you know, there's more segments to this, folks. But these were two of the most powerful segments where she literally, I mean, in every single one, she bombed. This was a political catastrophe, folks. Political catastrophe for her. Now, I know on her side, the gang at MSN, you know, MSDNC, MSLSD, NBC, all her acolytes in the media, they're going to say, oh, you did a wonderful, she was, she was going right after Brett Bear. You think the people care that she was going after Brett Bear? Nobody gives a shit she was going after Brett Bear. But that's the way they're going to play it. And of course, we're going to take a look at it. But you know what? That's fine. We as conservative Republicans, we're going to have our take on it. The Dems and the liberals and the progressives, they're going to have their take on it. 
but it's the people that supposedly are in the middle or still on the fence. Those precious few, that's where this election is going to be decided as well. Who gets the independence, the precious independence? And if you're telling me that if I was somebody on the fence and I was listening to those answers, I'd be saying, why are you going back to Donald Trump? Who cares what other people? We ask, what did you know? Not what did anybody else know? Not what the generals knew? Not what Liz Cheney or Dick Cheney knew? Not what George Clooney knew? What did you know, Madam Vice President? If you're going to make a medical diagnosis on the state of the mind of the former Vice President, President Trump, well, we'd like to know your assessment of the mind, of the mental stability, the mental capacity of your, of our current president, Joe Biden, of your leader, of your party. Give us your assessment first. Because if you can give us a proper assessment of that, maybe we'll believe you on your assessment or at least you've got the bona fides to stand on, but you don't. Just throwing these things out there, scattering them, you know, throwing, you know, everything up against the wall and seeing what sticks. Well, I just don't think it's working. Anyways, folks, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you've been not already, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow. Check out our links to the other um segments of the Harris interview on Fox. Love to hear your comments. As I said, put them down below. In the meantime, my final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.